Hey, this is a Harvard's entrance exam, and let's see if we can get this together. Today, we are going to discuss how to solve for x in this equation. Okay, so first, let's bring this stuff to the other side of the equation. So we have that x squared minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, um, let's bring this 3 to its position, this x to the power of 3, okay? If we do that, that means we have minus x to the power of 3. Then this is plus x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, but it's weird, right? Leaving this minus sign at the beginning of this equation. So to remove it, we are going to multiply through by minus 1. And if we do that, this becomes x to the power of 3. This becomes minus x squared. This becomes plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, now our equation is in a very good way. Is in, in order. Is in order. So what do we do next? We need to factorize this 12. That is where the manipulation comes in. So what do we do about the 12? We need two factors of 12 that we can get a square and a cube from. Okay, for example, 12 is the same thing as 1 plus 11, but we can get a square or a cube and a cube from these two numbers. Okay, it's also 2 plus 10. We can't get a square and a cube from here. It's also 3 plus um, 9, right? We can get a square here, but we can't get a cube from the other. It's also 4 plus 8. And tada, this is what we need. Because this can be expressed as 2 squared and this can be expressed as 3 squared. So we can bring it in and combine it with what we have here to form our main equation. Let's go. So we are going to use 4 and 8. Okay, so this same thing as 4 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now we have x to the power of 3 minus x squared plus this is 2 squared plus this is 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now let's bring x to the power of 3 and uh, 2 to the power of 3 together and minus x squared and 2 squared together. So if we do that, we have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 then minus x squared um minus 2 squared why because if we open this bracket we are going to get this plus 2 squared here okay so this is minus x squared minus 2 squared okay let's recall this algebraic identity that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b okay multiplied by a squared plus b squared minus a b okay so this is it now in this case our a is x and our b is 2 all right so we are going to substitute what uh, this into this if we do that we are going to have that this is the same thing as x plus 2 multiplied by x squared plus 2 squared minus a b that is 2 times x that is 2x all right then minus this is difference of two squares right and difference of two squares states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay or a plus b multiplied by a minus b any of them is okay so we are going to express this in this form whereby our a is x and our b is 2 so it's going to be x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 x minus 2 okay now let's watch notice that we have x plus 2 here x plus 2 so we can actually factorize it out so if we factorize x plus 2 out we are going to have x squared plus 2 squared minus 2x then we are going to have minus this one right minus x minus 2 okay so that is what we will have now let's continue so this particular one now can be expressed as x plus 2 we open our bracket so we are going to have x squared plus 2 squared 
minus 2x now let's open these brackets minus times x will give us minus x minus times minus 2 will give us plus 2 all right <laughs> let's continue but before that if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please don't hesitate to click on the subscription button and to on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay now let's continue all these are equal to zero remember my equation is equal to zero so this is equal to zero this is equal to zero this is equal to zero okay so let's solve what we have inside the bracket we have x plus 2 bracket um x squared plus this is 4 right 2 squared is 4 4 plus 2 will give us 6 so let's leave that for the con uh, what is it called the constant part then we have minus 2x minus x is minus 3x so minus 3x plus 6 let me write this so let me write it well. So we have x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so that simply means that x plus 2 is equal to 0, right? So we have that x plus 2 is equal to 0. And that x squared minus 3x plus 6 is also equal to 0. So from here, we can say that x is equal to minus 2. Okay, then for this side... We have, um, you notice that we cannot solve this by factorization. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic equation formula. We say that our x here is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay. All right. Now, in this case, our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Uh, b is equal to the coefficient of x, which is minus 3, and our c is equal to the constant, which is 6. So if we solve, if we solve, we are going to have that. Um, permit me to clean this. You already, you have gotten what we want from there. So we can now solve that. Um, now let's substitute all this inside this place. So we we'll have that x is equal to minus b, that is minus minus 3, which will give us 3, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 3 squared will give us 9. So we have 9, all right? Then minus 4 times a, that is 4 times 1, which is 4, times 6, which is what? 24. So this is what we have divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. So our x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 15, okay, divided by 2. So we can now express this as what? That our x is equal to 3 plus or minus. Now here, we are going to have what? Square root of 15i, right? divided by 2 okay so we have two values of our x in this case so the first x this is our x1 right so x2 is going to be let's take 3 plus root 15i 3 plus root 15i divided by 2 and x3 is going to be 3 minus root 15i divided by 2 and these are the values of X. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.